Look at that. Look at that. I just shaved that off my butt this morning. Just joking, didn't really. Shaved it off my roots. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the No Frills mm. session today with my wonderful sister Marie and myself, Julia, with the help of the dogs who probably want to eat this. This is one stop it pound of fat. Isn't it? Lovely. Put that for my tea tonight. One pound of fat. Do you know this equates to three, around three and a half thousand calories? How long does it take to burn off one of these? Don't tell. Mm -hmm. I told you that already. Have a guess, how long would it take to burn that off? I've got that just in my arm, look. It would take around about seven hours of exercise. Give me a little job, Marie. She had to do that for a long time to burn off that pound of fat. On average, we burn around 500 calories an hour. Moderate exercise. Do the maths. I didn't do the maths. So it would take, and that's not moderate if I'm honest with you. That's below moderate. There's no more calories to sleep than that. And I went, there we go. So that would take a lot of hours. Thank you, Marie. You can go back to a walk now. And it'll take even more to dry that off. So, the truth about fat isn't our enemy, but we make it our enemy sometimes. I'm gonna put that somewhere where the dogs can't eat it. We all carry fat on us everywhere, and it's necessary, yeah? I've got a bit here, I've got a bit around here, around the backs, and there's different ways we can measure fat on ourselves. Um, we have these horrible contraptions in the industry. Well, you get hold of someone's fat. I didn't tell me I was going to do this. Hello, On the back of the traps, we give them a good wiggle to get rid of any useful tissue, like muscles. And then we pinch that fat, and it tells us, oh, gives us a measurement. And then we pinch the old back fat, then we do a bit with the bicep, and then we get a good old-fashioned one, <laughs> the tummy fat down the bottom. And then we do an equation, and it works out how much body fat you have. But nowadays, we've got really scientific ways of working out how much fat. We have all of the scales that send through the little currents through your body and, and they can work out your high dense tissue from that nice loose squidgy adipose tissue which is the fat to tell you what you have. And we need fat, don't we Marie? Yeah. Why do we need fat Marie? Keep you warm. Exactly! Did you just look at my notes? No, I was just <laughs> <going out. laughs> It's true, we do need fat. It is there, it has got its uses. It does keep us warm, it protects some of our organs, it also, we have different um, vitamins that are made and stored in it. So there's lots of reasons we need fat. The problem is we tend to have a bit too much of it um, in this day and age because why do we have too much fat, Marie? Because it's in every bit of food we eat. Well, there is definitely that, that's for sure. And because we're a lazy bunch of buggers, aren't we? Let's face it. I speak for myself as much as anybody else. So it is, we have a diet these days, all of the fast food, the cheap foods, which have massive amount of fat content. Um, and we don't do, we don't move enough anymore. And especially since COVID and lockdown, obviously lots of things have been affected. So we want to give you a few facts today and to remind you that it is important to have your fat. Still recommendations are around about, give me an idea, what do you think recommendations every day, percentage wise, fat in our diet? Ooh. Get wrong, you get a glove flicked at your head. Uh, well, we should or shouldn't be. <laughs> should either. have. Should have. Oh, I don't know. Not that much. No. Half of that. <laughs> What's that as a percentage? 10%. 10%. 10%. About 30%, they reckon. Around about 30% of your daily diet should be fat. 40 to 60 around carbohydrates and then 15 to 20 protein. So it is still quite an important part of our diet. It creates lots of energy, okay, that we can then use or store on the other hand. And every gram of fat, if you imagine those tiny little butters that you get with your little portions when you go to the hotel, five grams, there you are, it's nine calories per gram, which equals nine times five? 45. 45. <laughs> She's good today. She's on full. 45 calories, just in a little tiny bit of butter. I like this piece of butter here, which uh, is 200 and 20, 250, 250 grams. Uh, do you know what? I can't even work that out. I just worked 2,500. That's like a man's daily consumption of calories in that uh, butter. 
it's a lot to think about, isn't it? And everything, um, and especially cheeses, my favourite, cathedral, <laughs> loads, high in butter, nuts, cashews, good for you, but really high fat content. And then we have our other bits of heaters, like chocolates, which have a lot of fat in them. Crisps, even the ones that look healthy, look on the back, grams of fat. So why am I telling you all this? So we don't eat fat. So we don't eat so much of it. <laughs> it's about respect for fat. Respect to its place in the food chain and its importance. And that there are different types of fat, some that are better for you than others. Um, some that you want to try and avoid, like the plague, the ones that have been messed around with by science. Um, the saturated, body saturated. The ones that just are not good for your arteries and cholesterol. The good fats, your olive oils, and I'm sure people know this. Um, olive oil is really good for you. And then you've got the natural oils these days. The ones that are not being messed around with that will help um, the body function better. So this is a story about fat. Marie, give me a jog. I'm going to get my glasses on now. I'm going to read some nut content. Fat, 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 fat. This packet, which is 20, 125 grams, la, 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 has got, I've got to work this out now, 50, 60, about 60 grams of fat in it. Now, generally, your average daily consumption should be only a little bit more than this, depending if you're a man or a woman and your calorie intake. So 60 grams is an awful lot. Nine calories per gram is, ours is on a postcard too, at least, this will take me about 10 minutes to eat. And it's gonna take Marie about two and a half hours to burn it back off. <laughs> So, exercise is important, but if you think you can use exercise alone to burn off fat, you are strongly mistaken. You need to alter your diet and drop down your fat content, but also reevaluate your eating because we can never exercise enough to, to burn off the amount of fat that we probably store. That's assuming you have high fat content. You can go back to a nice little walk now. So the bones are creeping, not the uh, trampoline. So today, remember, fat is good for you, but it's all about balance and moderation. 30% of your diet a day. If you're a woman, it's around 2,000 calories. So 30% of 2,000 calories. This is where I should have brought my flipping calculator. It's about 4, 5, 6, 500, 500, 500 calories, 4, 500 calories. Um, and then the rest made up of your proteins and carbohydrates and try and stick to good fats as well. Not the ones that are in your chocolates, your biscuits, your cake, cheese, your lard. Yeah, cheese. We love cheese. Cheese is really high in fat, so it's really important to remember that um, keep your, if you do like your cheese, I'm not here to tell you not to eat cheese, but keep your slices nice and thin and respect the fact that it's a lot of fat you put into your body. Um, so nine calories per gram of fat that you eat compared with four calories per gram of any carbohydrate, which is your fruits, your vegetables, potatoes, your bread, da, 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 da. and your protein is also four calories per gram. So you can see it's more, it's more than double the calorie content than in your proteins and your carbohydrates. Remember that next time, if you are carrying a bit too much weight, Depending on your age, there is a table in life of, well, through the, um, the health department of how much fat you should carry on your body. If you're carrying too much, it does take a lot of work to get rid of some of that fat. Um, and that's a lot of dedication, both from your nutrition, what you eat, and the exercise that you do. The body finds it really hard to break down fat, which is why it's hard to lose longer term, because it's a lot more effort for the body to break down the fat and turn that into energy than it is just using um, stores of carbohydrates. But also your brain will go, well, just give me something sweet to eat quickly and then we'll use that as energy rather than trying to break down the fat. So it's hard to break down, it takes a long time. You have to work generally at a more moderate um, pace to break down fat rather than really hard working exercise. Um, but it can be 
be done. It just takes a little bit of dedication and just as a myth buster, if you do a thousand sit-ups a day, you won't necessarily lose fat from your tummy. You might lose it from your boobs. If you're obviously your calorie in and out is less, um, you can't lose fat from a particular area um, by doing an exercise on that area. Okay, it's a myth. So I'm sorry all these people that put these posts up about, you can do a thousand sit-ups a day and you'll have a fat stomach in six weeks. It's not, in, that's not entirely true. It's a little bit of a manipulation of the truth because there's no proof um, at this point or evidence or ways to actually work a certain body part and get the fat off of that certain body part. The only way you can do it at the moment is through going under the knife or getting some of the laser surgeries that are out there at the moment that will target specific areas of fat. Um, I'm sorry to burst people's bubble, but that is the plain reality. You get it, it comes off your body wherever your brain wants it to come off, whichever's gonna be the least resistance area according to the, to the brain. And we all hold it in different areas. I hold mine around my tummy and around the back of my arm. That's down to my family heritage. Where do you hold yours, Marie? Marie holds her around her tummy too. So generally we hold it around our, our belly, our backs, arms, legs, not so much because we weren't designed to have huge legs there to do a job, walk, get us food, etc. So if you have any questions today on fat and the truth of fat, please drop me a message. Don't be sad, it has got a place in our body. It is necessary, but it doesn't look nice. It doesn't smell nice when it's in a bag. So uh, generally speaking, don't go and buy it from your local butchers because I've got to try and find uh, something to do with it now. Anyone know any good ideas or what to do with fat? I don't even know what type of fat it is. I'm assuming it's not human fat because otherwise they may go into court very soon. That's it for today. Thank you, Marie, for Thank your you. assistance. And we will see you soon for another fact-finding session. Ciao!